Hi, Catherine McGill, Communities Foundation of Texas. I am the Advisor Relations Officer, and in that capacity, have the opportunity to work with attorneys, um, trust officers, CPAs, CFPs, insurance advisors throughout all the North Texas area. Before that, I had the great pleasure of working with Phil Cubetta. He actually recruited me to New York Life, and in that capacity, worked on the advanced marketing side and with advisors on their practice and also served as kind of a point person for um, the Nautilus group doing philanthropy work with advisors. So have a really great love of working with advisors and promoting um, the concepts of values-based planning. In the last year or so, I've had the opportunity to do a, a whole series of um, individual meetings with practices around the Metroplex and have found, much to my chagrin, that there is a reluctance and a lack of process in a lot of advisory practices, and I'm talking from small to large, big firms, accounting firms, um, and also advisory practices where charitable conversations are not being had, and a lot of it is because the advisors will just admittedly say, we don't have a process for doing this and we're reluctant to jump into something that we don't know how to do. So I am a huge proponent of the CAP program, helped to co-facilitate with Roger okay. Johnson, the first CAP study group here in Dallas, along with Todd and Janie. We had almost 30 people who signed up for that first round. So um, we currently host the CAP sessions at the um, Communities Foundation office, and I'm really glad to see a continuation of that, but I have a real passion for helping to get the word out and help advisors find that process. I'm Julie Bushman. I'm the Senior Fiduciary Officer at Northern Trust here in Dallas. And my passion is really around planning and the fiduciary practice. That's what I've been doing for the last 33 years. Um, I've been interested in just philanthropy in general because I have the privilege to work with many high net worth clients. Mm -hmm. And I find that if we initiate the conversation, they want to talk about it. So it's been a part of my business practice for a very long time and take great pride. I don't think I can never be as good of a connector as Todd is, but <laughs> I'm striving for that honor of second place and trying to make connections in the community, clients, different nonprofits, because I think they can benefit from each other. They're not all competing for the same dollars. And the nonprofits that our clients support, it's more than one. Um, one of the reasons why I joined Northern a few years ago is because this is really important to them. They're very driven in the community. They want to be where their, their clients are, um, what helps the community, and also where their business partners are. So they're very supportive of having senior partners involved in the community. So it's not just the dollars, it's the time and how we can help facilitate connections. Um, I did the TCAP program, I did it the hard way. I did it myself, I didn't have the time in my prior work life to attend a class, but that said, I am actually going to help facilitate one of the <coughs> classes this year, so I'm delighted to be able to participate on the <laughs> other side of the coin. I'm still looking forward to that. Um, also, I'm on the NAEPC board, National Association of State Planners and Councils. I'm going up the chairs. I've been on that board for, oh gosh, probably 10 years. So I'm secretary this year, and one of the things that I was able to help facilitate was getting the philanthropic designations as part of the one identified oh, gateways to the accredited oh, estate planner designation. Yeah, awesome. I'm just very joyous about being participants of all of this. It's good. Mm -hmm. Carolyn Smith, as Todd said, is business partner in San Antonio. I had the privilege of joining Todd full time about 10 years ago. Prior to that, in public accounting as a tax partner and focused specifically uh, a lot with families on their planning. And I was at the table a lot after a death occurred. And I really saw those families that had done their planning. Many of our clients were business owners, great philanthropist supporters in the community. But sadly, I saw where they had not planned for how that philanthropy would continue. And it just doesn't happen after their deaths unless there's really been intention around that. Todd and I had 
known each other for a long time and as he said been a big part of Todd and Scott Fithian's program. And so when I saw that the cap started with that reinforcing the why before the how, it was just like, oh, well this is just a continuation of that. So I had the privilege for about three years in San Antonio. We had facilitated class cap classes. San Antonio is just a different marketplace in Dallas. We don't have truly the plan giving community as much as we have as you're blessed with here in Dallas. So we kind of ran out of the participants, so to speak, to try to have a mixed group. Having said that, those of us who went through it, we still have great discussions. And I know Todd, you and I were on the phone not too long ago with Mark and attorney, and he said, well, let's start above the line. And you know, we've probably been, I don't know, close to seven or eight years where we were in the class. And man, what a wonderful way mm -hmm. to start a conversation. My name is Ted Biggers, and I'm an attorney with the Biggers Law Firm. And our firm does a uh, substantial part of our businesses through state planning and trust work. And uh, the way I got involved with the CAP program is uh, we work a lot with the Salvation Army uh, with a lot of their gifts. And the plan giving director at that time had encouraged me to look into the CAP program and I kind of started talking to Todd Healy about it and others. And like this would be a really good program to get involved with and so I set off and took that you know as a, an estate attorney you know so much you're always looking at the technical part of it and so it was a real you know eye-opener to say well wait a minute maybe you're you're going too quick into the technical part and let's talk about more about the above the line what it's all about and so I think it's really changed you know significantly the way I think about the state planning and I'm working with clients I'm Heather Davis, and my story is a little different than everyone else's. I don't work with clients directly. Um, I have been with New York Life for about 20 years mm -hmm. and worked closely with Phil Cubetta early on. And I had been pursuing at the time my CLU and CHSC designations, and um, Phil knew I had just kind of a passion for serving um, through philanthropic work. And so I went to his office and. He came down the next day with a stack of books about this tall. He's like, just some, you know, light reading in your, in your spare time. So um, I read through most of those books, many of which are actually in the CAP program I, I discovered years later. But I knew, um, you know, this is a passion for Phil. So uh, years later then, uh, still supporting the New York Life agents, my role transitioned to a marketing and programs role. So um, I, at the time, was serving on the American College Alumni Association Board and I was, I think I was incoming president at the time and was just interested in, t in taking another course through the American College. It had been a number of years and I spoke with Phil and he really encouraged me to look into the CAP program. So I started to attend, like Julie, some of the study groups but just found that um, I didn't feel like, um, because I wasn't working directly with clients, that, that my stories were resonating well with the, with the group, although I was learning a lot from the people that were um, participating but I just um, ended up doing the program on my own and reading a lot of the, the reading the books and I really just enjoyed it it was just um, from a personal perspective this again isn't something I'm going to be doing with clients but I do a lot of work in in the community and the the lessons that I learned were extraordinarily valuable